Eyes up here, science, because here are the top five things we learned about breasts in 2013. Hi, I'm Kristen from Stuff Mom Never Told You for D News, and this year, scientists put breasts under the proverbial microscope, confirming a lot of things that, frankly, most women with breasts could have simply told them. But where's the fun in that? For instance, first up in this breast-tacular roundup, we have researchers at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln who used eye-tracking technology to confirm that people assess women's appearances by looking more at their chests than their faces. And unsurprisingly, the larger a woman's cup size, the more attention her breasts attracted. Next up, speaking of cup sizes, a very small Brazilian study identified a correlation between breast implants and greater reported sexual satisfaction. In a no-duh response to the research, Colorado professor of psychology Tommy Ann Roberts said, feminine heterosexuality is very much about our sense of whether or not we are pleasing our partner. And here we have 45 women who have spent a great deal of money to that purpose. So really, one hopes that the women would be getting better bangs for all those bucks. Now moving on to all natural breasts, number three on our list is an admittedly depressing finding out of UCLA that breast tissue ages faster than the rest of the female body. According to this genomic research, breast tissue is two to three years older than a woman's chronological age, which means that in addition to dog years, we now have breast years. Thanks a lot, nature. And even when we do healthy stuff for our bodies to ease that aging process, it can come back to bite women in the breasts. A study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine determined that the figure eight breast jiggling that happens while running can cause breast pain and soreness and thus limit some women's quality and quantity of exercise. As the New York Times noted, however, many women, and hey, probably some men too, could have told doctors that, but the study was the first to empirically confirm that exercise hurts our boobs, regardless of whether we wear sports bras. And finally, speaking of bras, the last but certainly not least thing we learned about breasts in 2013 is that ye old brazier might promote ptosis, aka boob sag. As D News host Lacey informed us earlier this year, a 16-year French study suggested that wearing bras may discourage the growth of supportive breast tissue, at least among the young female population he studied. But that lead breast researcher cautioned that women might not want to burn their bras just yet, since factors such as age, smoking, and pregnancy are stronger ptosis predictors. So what do you make of all of these scientific breast breakthroughs? Tell me about it in the comments below and be sure to check out my channel, youtube.com slash stuff mom never told you. And also, don't forget to subscribe here for more D News.